So all of that, all of that. You can be misdiagnosed and misdiagnosed and misdiagnosed into your grave. Seven years ago, I called my family doctor, my last family, longtime family doctor who had retired, the one that told me I would die if I wean off the medications, that the medications were keeping me alive. I called him. He had retired. I called him to ask him for advice because he had known me for years. Where can I turn to? I'm, I'm not sleeping. I'm in crisis. Where do I turn to? He, he said, I'm surprised you're still alive. So this was seven years ago. I think seven years, six, seven years ago. He said, I'm surprised you, you've lived this long. I didn't understand at the time I called him. All of his, you know, everything that he had done. I had to literally wean off all the medications to fight for my life, to get my brain back. You can't effectively try to fight for your life when you're on all these drugs and drugged up. You can't figure things out when you're, when you're drugged up. You can't. Like, I was impaired. I felt like I had dementia. I felt like I had early Alzheimer's. Like, more than 10 years ago. I had to... Literally wean off all the medications to fight for my life, to get my brain back, to try to be heard, to be able to read and research my butt off. All that iatrogenic, all that prescribing cascade. I was sick in so many ways from medications and being told I had all these disorders and, and I was being medicated for all these disorders. All these disorders caused by medications and everything that <coughs> everything I did, <coughs> everything that was going on, the sleep apnea and <coughs> severe insomnia, everything was being misdiagnosed as psych. When you're on psych medications, they, they are less likely to believe that you've got serious medical issues going on. Sleep medications, anxiety medications can make sleep apnea way worse. If you're on psych medications, your real medical, it, real medical issues can be misdiagnosed as anxiety or psych. Like, it, it's impossible for you to get them to see what they're doing. They can't see that the medications are making you sick. If they want to view you through the, to, through the lens of psych, it's impossible. It can be impossible for, for you to be seen and heard. Like you can't. If you're, if you're suffering from severe sleep apnea and they think that you're delusional about that, how do you shake reality into them? If you're sleepwalking and sleep eating and being tortured by a drug, how, how, And you've got rare diseases like Chiari mal, and, and, and one of the, my doctors assessed me for Ehlers Danlos syndrome. Knew that I had EDS, but didn't want to tell me. Right? This is a a serious disease, a multi systemic serious disease. 
Ehlers down and Ehlers Danlos syndrome, and all the signs are there, like severe, flat-footed, fifteen-year-old uh, with significant uh, varicose veins, uh, uh, prolapsed bowel, uh, prolapsed uterus, abdominal uh, hernias. I'm tearing uh, easily. My bodily body rips and tears. And I, you, when you have this disease, you need to know. You need to know because you need to protect your body. And carry malformation. When you have this disease, you need to know because you need to protect yourself. You need to protect your brain. You need to protect your brain from inflammation. All that and the harm from the sinus surgery, the, the decades of harm from the sleepwalking and sleep eating, decades of undiagnosed sleep apnea, all the harm that the medications caused, the seasonal affective disorder, the PMDD, the ADHD, the sleep-related eating baloney disorder, Seasonal affective disorder. Did I say that? God have mercy what I've been through. The end, brain injured from the epidural. Full body numbness from the epidural. Significant nerve damage from uh, the two medications. Severely injured from the medications. Um what that did to my brain, what that did to my breathing. It was like I was breathing black smoke for over four years. The damage of the medication, weaning off those medications. It was like I was breathing in a room full of black smoke, fighting to breathe. So now here I am, four years off medications. Uh, I'm fighting for my life. I sleep three hours a night. I have Chiari malformation. And I'm not sleeping. And I can't function. I cannot function. I can't live on three hours of sleep. I'm, I'm, I'm decades critically sleep deprived. Fighting to survive. Look at, look at everything that has gone on.